What's up, everybody? How is everybody doing today, man? You already should know how it go. It is your boy, Be Back, with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you, and I hope that you are having a great day, great week, a uh, great month. And I hope you've honestly you've had a great year um, so far. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brandon Jones, and I specialize in helping you make an extra income. And today, we are going to be talking about making it a priority not to be getting scammed okay um i have pictures to show you guys of a picture two pictures that is going basically around the phone flipping international um in in the in the country um wholesalers is going around because now there's a huge influx of people selling phone boxes that have door hinges in them and i said something about this last year and i have not got caught with the door hinge uh, scam but i do know a few people that have and i want to make sure you guys aren't a part of that i want to make sure you are taking the proper precautions to ensure that you're making it a high priority not to ever put yourself in a position to where you're paying somebody for a device and the device is not in the box, okay? Now, if you have not already took in the Phone Flipping Academy, you may not know of the IMEI search and checker that I use. You may not know of different processes that I use and I want to be able to just expand on it so you guys know how to avoid getting in this type of situation now when it comes to phone flipping uh phone flipping of course is buying devices at a lower profit uh margin than you would sell them okay so you're buying devices for a lower value than what others um are informed of and then you're selling it at a higher price now where things get messed up is when you start to actually try and sell them and the buyer buys it and or the buyer is about to buy it and then they open the box and find out that it's a door hinge and then you're stuck because you're literally not trying to scam the buyer and the buyer may not even know the buyer may think that it's you trying to scam them and that's sort of kind of where you have to understand just like I had to understand at one point, like buyers aren't going to be your friend, okay? Um, I know some of you guys out there may have buyers. Some of you guys out there may think you have buyers. Some of you guys out there may just be selling to whoever you guys can sell to. Um, every way is okay, but just know you're only as good as the phones you're selling. And if you do, mess up that connection with that buyer what will you do who who are, who are you going to turn to that that's i think a really good question is if you were to sell let's say fake iphones to your buyer your buyer don't want to mess with you no more what you're going to do then like what's going to happen like the buyer says i no longer want to do business with you do you have other buyers in the tuck do you have other ways to sell phones you have to make sure one that you do but two that you don't ever put yourself in a situation to where you're not able to sell to your buyer because your buyer thinks that you try to finesse them right so we have to start to put our foots down and really inspect these devices now when it comes to this whole debacle there are people that own stores like me that have to be really, really cautious about this because there's guys that come into your stores all the time trying to sell you phones. And the phones do sometimes be sealed. And what I used to say to everybody is do not open a sealed box because then you're taking away the value. I don't believe that anymore, guys. Um, no longer will you hear me say, do not open a box. I want you guys to open every single box because 
I've got hit with fake iPhones this year, no door hinges. Um, but it just goes to show like it is a, it, it, it is something that could happen. And in knowing that that could happen, you do not want to ever allow somebody to be able to really hurt your pockets like that. So moving forward, the first thing I would say is making sure that you are making it a priority to open the box. Secondly, make sure you're turning on the phone, okay? I got a guy that brought a phone at my store, did not turn on the phone and just looked at it. The phone did look like a full blown iPhone. And when he went to go ahead and buy that device and look at it, the device sat there and the device got put into a Android state when I turned it on. Do you understand? how pissed off I was when I sat there and I turned that phone on and I saw that it said some type of, it said some Android. I was so upset because he just took money out of my cash register to go ahead and give to somebody. You gotta turn the phone on and you have to make sure you go through all of the steps to set the whole phone up until you get to the main menu every single time from now on every single time i don't care what anybody else tell you to do just do what i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to save you just do it now moving forward past that what do you do when you see that it is a phone the device is good they already have it set up how can i tell brandon that this person is trying to get me out how can I tell this person is trying to just close this deal and get away? So one of the freaking easiest ways to tell when something ain't right is somebody trying to rush you. I don't let anybody rush me. I like to think of it like a basketball player analogy, right? So like when I go ahead on the court, right? And I'm playing ball, I always play at my own pace. I don't, I don't, I don't play at nobody else's pace. I play at my own pace. I do me, okay? And that's how all of the really good basketball players play. They play at their own pace. They don't let anybody speed them up. They don't let nobody slow them down. And that's how you gotta be when you are a phone flipper. When you are there at that deal, make sure that you are only being and doing exactly what you want or what you deem, right? So I, I find that when somebody is trying to rush a deal that they're trying to hide something. So it could be as easy uh, spotted as somebody said, oh man, I gotta go get my kids. Man, if you need to go get your kids, then why do we meet right now, bro? Like, I'm not doing that, bro. Like, you don't got nobody to watch your kids. You, you, I mean, listen, you got a phone, bro. You better call your granny. You better call your mama. You better call your daddy. You better call your sister. You better call your girl, your wife, your your other kid, you better call somebody because I'm going to take my time and I'm going to look through this device and I'm going to make sure because this is my livelihood that I'm putting on the line buying these phones from you, right? So then after that, another telltale sign, which isn't as subtle, okay? is isn't, it, I mean, it is subtle, but it isn't as obvious is when somebody doesn't want to meet you inside. They want to meet you outside near their car. They want to meet you outside in the parking lot i don't at first i was cool with it until i started to realize you know what a lot of these people they think that they're like james bond or they, there's somebody that is like committing crimes and getting away with it so they like oh i don't want to go where no cameras are you know like little weird stuff like i make sure people go where cameras are now because it's like bro i don't have the time like i don't i'm not here to play with you I'm not here to waste your time, waste my time. I need to make sure that this phone is one, secure, two, I gotta make sure it's right, of course, and not anything different than what I anticipate, but I also gotta make sure I'm safe. Um, so I always want to meet, and I want you guys to meet where a camera is or some type of people are. A, a parking lot, it's not it anymore. 
okay? People are a little bit more crazy now. So I usually, what I do is before the meetup, I'll go into the place and then I'll let them know I'm in the place. There, Therefore, they can't be like, oh, I'm pulling them next to you or, you know, they can't say anything like that. It's like, yeah, I'm literally pulling up and going into a spot and waiting for people. And I'm literally, I, I me personally, when I go into stores, I go near ATM, ATMs because if they have any money issues, they can hit the ATM right there. But also the ATMs always got cameras on them. So that's a smart place for you to be able to, you know, go ahead and meet individuals. All right. So like I saw this picture, it's been blasted to me several times. And I wanted to like bring you guys some tips and tricks and my thoughts on this. Um, so you guys can have your own thoughts, but also hear my suggestions and hopefully not have this scam happen to you. Um, because it, it will happen to you if you are not, um, if you're like a bull in a China shop, it's going to happen to you. If you're not somebody that will be patient and take your time with these buys, then eventually somebody's going to get you in some way. And we don't want you to get got at all, right? I, I love I love for you guys to learn from my mistakes. Um, I've lost about $6,000 this year so far on phones. Um, but I've also made a good amount of money on phones too. So I'm very happy and content and, and okay with the mistakes that I've made and, and, and I'm learning from them. And, and, and it's always a learning game because the game always changes because scammers always try to find another way because you gotta realize scamming isn't just a, a, a frowned upon thing. Scamming is also a literal lifestyle for people. So that's how they feed their families. So you got to really realize scamming is always going to be there. It's always going to evolve. It's always going to evolve. Okay. Um, if you guys haven't already, man, go to CW plug. I got electronics for sale, wholesale. I got AirPods on there as well. These AirPod replicas, I'm telling you right now, they come sealed like this in your packaging. When you take it out, it's a sealed AirPod box. Um, this is our sample box though. But as you guys see, it don't just come out you gotta actually pull these out because these are one of the best replicas on the market i get these directly from a factory i don't get them from a website um and i'm proud of that because it takes a lot to be able to get them directly from a factory um and also guys this is how they come of course and these are one of ones these connect directly to the phone these have hey siri these have working serial numbers these can be found with find my iphone these have noise cancellation these are one of the best replicas you can get these for 38 dollars each wholesale okay everything on that website cw plug is a wholesale price okay i ain't overcharging nothing on that website you can go and check about it and check for yourself you can get uh cords for two dollars and under there's so many different things you guys can do also go check out the phone flipping academy um and we're going to continue to grow i appreciate you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace